This monster is the EB200. This is a huge power station, by far the biggest one that I've ever reviewed. Before we get started though, I wanted to clear up some confusion. You may be able to see here that there are two brand names on this unit. This device is manufactured by Blue Eddy, so you're going to recognize that name, Max Oak Blue Eddy. Uh, they have a well-established reputation in the industry, but you're also going to see Miller Tech on there. And if you're familiar with my channel, if you're one of my subscribers, you, you know Miller Tech by now. What, what happened was Blue Eddy approached Miller Tech to sell these. And since Miller Tech didn't have a portable power station, they went ahead and imported some of these to sell. And they entered into an exclusive agreement where Miller Tech was, is one of the only authorized retailers or resellers for this unit in the United States. So you may see some comments online doing some research, as most of you do like I do, do some research online of, of new products. You may run into some comments saying, claiming this is a fake, or this is a copycat or something like that. It's not. This is an official Blue Eddy product, but it's also an official Miller Tech product. And the reason why I like that is because you're getting the best of both worlds. You're getting Blue Eddy quality, and they've already been making power stations for many years, and so you know it didn't make sense for Miller Tech to, to make their own. But you also get the US-based support and the amazing a company behind Miller Tech supporting this this unit. Uh, Blue Eddy is a Chinese company and so their support is typically through the Amazon portal or through email and stuff like that and it it may take some time to to get to get help. With Miller Tech they're a phone call away or or an email and they will get on it right away. So anyway, without further ado, this is this product is an officially licensed Blue Eddy product brought to you by Miller Tech with a special edition case and this is this is only available through Miller Tech. There is a a product that Blue Eddy sells direct that's comparable to this and we'll talk about that later in the video. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's take a look at the EB200. While you watch the unboxing montage, I'll go over some of the features and specs. The EB200 features a 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter with a 4800 watt peak surge and 2000 watt hours of battery capacity from its lithium iron phosphate cells. It can be charged via AC adapter, vehicle 12 volt DC cigarette lighter adapter, or from up to 700 watts of solar power through its built-in MPPT charge controller. It has five AC outlets and numerous DC outlets including a 25 amp RV connection, 60 watt USB-C connections, and two wireless charging pads on top. Unlike lithium ion or NMC power stations which give you about 500 charging cycles, this station has a very long lifetime at over 3500 cycles. In the box are all the cables you need to charge with AC, vehicle DC, or solar DC. As I said, this is the biggest portable power station I've ever tested. It definitely stretches the term portable at over 60 pounds and it's loaded with connections and doodads and touchscreens with numerous menus. I'm not going to go over all of them in this video, but let's just say this thing crushes any 2000 watt or similar sized gas generator you can get in every category except the entry price. We'll talk a little bit about pricing and comparisons a little bit later in the video. You guys know that I don't spend a lot of time on the marketing bullet points. I want to put the device to the test. So let's charge this thing up and see what it can do. I'm going to use AC charging exclusively in this video. Unfortunately, it's the wrong time of year to test solar charging. And charging with a cigarette lighter would take forever, so I apologize for that in advance. With the EB200 fully charged, I brought it over to the load test rig. I'll be using a power meter to track how many watt hours are used in each test. First, we'll start off with a light load of 250 watts with one heat lamp. And the first thing I'm noticing is that the EB200 has a very good inverter inside. Most power stations do not output 120 volts AC. It's more like 110 volts or sometimes even less. And most devices can handle that just fine. But incandescent lights and other resistive loads will not perform the same. 
so that's a great start for the EB200. After letting the test run overnight, I came back and checked the power meter to see that 1670 watt hours had been consumed before the EB200 shut off. Now keep in mind that while this unit is rated for 2000 watt hours, that rating is given using DC output. Also, it's pretty cold in my shop, which will affect the performance of the battery cells. The average temperature was between 30 and 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So with the losses through the inverter and the cold temperature, 1.67 kilowatt hours is pretty good. So I reset the meter and recharged the unit for the next test. All right, the first test was too easy for a monster sized power station like this. So for the second test, I used all of the heat lamps for a total of 1000 watts. I also monitored the station much more closely during the test. Obviously the power station drained a lot faster, but the voltage and everything held rock steady. On this test, the cooling fan did kick on. After a little less than two hours, the EB200 was tapped out. This time, surprisingly, the EB200 performed even better by providing 1750 watt hours of power. Part of that is certainly because it was a little bit warmer in my shop, but it also speaks to the quality of Blue Eddy. So I recharged the EB200 once more, and I intended to devise some sort of torture test for it. But unfortunately, I've had a kid in the hospital and some other video production issues going on that prevented me from doing that. I also wanted to get some more clarification from Miller Tech and Blue Eddy on some specs. So stay tuned for a follow-up video in the future, hopefully. Instead, I ran a marathon test with a real-life device that you might actually use. This is the Iceco VL90 Pro-D, and it's one of the largest refrigerators you will ever see for boondocking or camping or off-grid temporary use. I just completed a review video on it last week, so check it out if you're interested. Anyway, the EB200 ran this monster for a long three-day weekend with no problem at all. But before we finish up with this video, I mentioned that there's a lot of confusion out there, and here's one of the reasons why. Blue Eddy actually sells directly to the public a competitor product called the AC200P. It has some differences, but it is almost identical in specs as the EB200. However, Blue Eddy is currently trying to liquidate this model with huge discounts since it has some pretty serious problems. The AC200 model was designed to use lithium ion cells. But as I pointed out, they don't last anywhere near as long as lithium iron phosphate cells. So they created the AC200P and put LFP cells inside. But the rumor is they didn't change the software that runs the power station and calibrate it and optimize it for LFP cells. So the capacity percentages are off and it doesn't work as well. But don't take my word for it. Go watch some reviews and do some research before you pull the trigger. If it were me, I'd buy the unit that was designed from the ground up for LFP. In conclusion, the EB200 from MillerTech is a fully licensed product made by Blue Eddy. It performs really well, lasts forever, and has all the bells and whistles. You also get the best of both worlds with the backing of an American company like MillerTech with fantastic support and a solid manufacturer like Blue Eddy. So if you're looking for an alternative to a small gas generator, this is going to be your best bet. Right now, you can get an amazing price on the EB200 on Amazon with a coupon making it $15.99. But if you go to my web store with the link in the video description, I have it on sale for $15.50 with free shipping. Thanks for watching this video. Please leave a comment and a like if you found the video helpful.